Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial. In this video, we will learn about Boole's inequality in statistics. One of the very, very important question. Let us see the statement of Boole's inequality for n events, for n events, a1, a2, and so on, an, we have two inequalities are there. First one, probability of intersection of ai. Probability of intersection ai, i varies from 1 to n is greater than or equals to summation over i is equals to 1 to n p of ai minus of n minus 1. And the second one, probability of union i is equals to 1 to n ai less than or equals to summation i is equals to 1 to n p of ai. These two are known as Boole's inequalities. Let us prove these two statements by using mathematical induction. We prove this theorem by using mathematical induction. Let us take case one. We know that for any two events, a1, a2, let us take any two events, a1, a2, by using addition theorem on probability, by using addition theorem on probability, p of a1 union a2 is equals to p of a1 plus p of a2 minus p of a1 intersection a2. This condition is derived from addition theorem of probability. P of A1 union A2 is equals to P of A1 plus P of A2 minus P of A1 intersection A2. We know that in general, probability of any event is always less than or equals to 1. It is general property of probability of the event. Probability of any event is always less than or equals to 1. By applying this condition, by applying this condition, we get P of A1 plus P of A2 minus P of A1 intersection A2 less than or equals to 1. So obviously, probability of any event, probability of any event is always lies between 0 and 1. Is always lies between 0 and 1. By using that fact, P of A1 plus P of A2 minus P of A1 intersection A2 less than or equals to 1. So the first two terms can be written like this. The first two terms can be written like this. Summation I is equals to 1 to N P of AI minus this term can be written like this probability of intersection i is equals to 1 to 2 ai less than or equals to 1. Now, let us shift this one into left side, you get minus 1 and shift this term into right side, you get positive term. Summation over i is equals to 1 to n p of ai minus 1 less than or equals to p of intersection i is equals to 1 to 2 ai. So, this one can be written like this 2 minus 1. This one can be written like this 2 minus 1. So, p of intersection i is equals to 1 to 2 ai greater than or equals to summation over i is equals to 1 to 2 p of ai minus 2 minus 1. You observe that from this condition, the statement 1 is true for n is equals to 2. The statement 1 is true is true for n value 2. Now assume that the given statement is true for n is equals to r. For any natural number small r, assume that the, val the statement is true. N, the statement is true for n is equals to r. It means probability of intersection i is equals to 1 to r ai greater than or equals to summation i is equals to 1 to r p of ai minus r minus 1. p of ai minus of r minus 1. You observe that here in the given statement that n is replaced by r. That n is replaced by r. That's it. Now you have to prove the statement for n is equals to r plus 1. So that's why we consider we consider probability of intersection i is equals to 1 to r plus 1. Probability of intersection i is equals to 1 to r plus 1 ai. This intersection can be written like this. Observe that. Probability of intersection i is equals to 1 to r ai. Intersection e r plus 1. So this term can be replaced by e for our convenience. For our convenience, this term is replaced by e. I mean e1. e1, I'm sorry. And this term is replaced by e2. So now you observe that this becomes p of e1 intersection e2. p of e1 intersection e2. Already we prove that the statement is true for n is equals to 2. Already we prove that the statement is true for n is equals to 2. Here we have only two events e1 and e2. So by using that fact this one is greater than or equals to this event is greater than or equals to p of e1 plus p of e2 minus 1. Because already we prove this here we prove the condition it is true for it is true for n is equals to 2 so that's why we write we write this step p of e1 plus p of e2 minus 1 here it is greater than or equals to continue what is e1 
intersection i is equals to 1 to r ai what is e to ar plus 1 again probability of here it is probability of intersection i is equals to 1 to r ai is greater than r equals to summation i is equals to 1 to r p of ai minus of r minus 1 now use this condition here use that property here use that property here so you get summation i is equals to 1 to r p of ai minus of r minus 1 plus p of r plus 1 minus 1 after simplifying we get that is greater than r equals to after simplifying we get that is greater than r equals to that is greater than r equals to summation r is equals to 1 to summation i is equals to 1 to r plus 1 p of a i minus r it means probability of intersection i is equals to 1 to r plus 1 a i greater than r equals to summation i is equals to 1 to r plus 1 p of a i minus r this shows us the statement is true for n is equals to r plus 1 the statement is true for n is equals to r plus 1. Now you observe that. We prove that the statement is n true for n is equals to 2. We assume that the statement is true for n is equals to r. We prove that the statement is true for n is equals to r plus 1. By applying the principle of mathematical induction, given statement 1 is true for all natural numbers, n belongs to capital N. And also you may conclude that, that n is greater than or equals to 2. Because if n is equals to 1, if there is only one event, you cannot apply this inequality. To apply Boole's inequality, you must need at least two events. So that n is greater than or equals to 2. Hence, we conclude that probability of intersection i is equals to 1 to n ai greater than or equals to summation i is equals to 1 to n p of ai minus of n minus 1. That's it. Now, case 2. Case 2. Let us consider any two events a1 comma a2. Again, we know that probability of any event is always non-negative. Probability of any event, probability of any event is always non-negative. So P of a1 intersection a2 is greater than or equals to 0. Again, use the addition theorem of probability. Addition theorem of probability P of a1 union a2 is equals to P of a1 plus P of a2 minus P of a1 intersection a2. You observe that if you remove this term, it is a non-negative term. If you remove this term, this equality becomes less than or equals to. You can understand this, this, this inequality by giving an example. 100 can be written as, sorry, 99 can be written as 100 minus 1. 99 can be written as 100 minus 1. If you remove this minus 1, then this 99 is less than 100. Then this 99 is less than 100. If you remove this minus 1, then 99 is less than 100. In a similar manner, if you remove this P of A1 intersection A2, this is equal to becomes less than or equals to. P of A1 union A2 less than or equals to P of A1 plus P of A2. So the left side can be written as probability of union I is equals to 1 to 2 AI. Probability of union I is equals to 1 to 2 AI less than or equals to summation over I is equals to 1 to 2 P of AI. It means the given statement 2 is true for N is equals to 2. Now assume that the given statement is true for n is equals to r. Assume that given statement is true for n is equals to small r. It means probability of union i is equals to 1 to r ai less than r equals to summation i is equals to 1 to r p of ai. Now we prove that the statement is true for n is equals to r plus 1. We prove the given statement is true for n is equals to r plus 1. Now consider n is equals to r plus 1 and probability of union i is equals to 1 to r plus 1. This union i is equals to 1 to r plus 1 ai can be written as union of two terms. Please observe that. Union i is equals to 1 to r ai union ar plus 1. Let us take this first term is e and the second term is f. So you get simply p of e union f. p of e union f where e is equals to union ai and f is equals to ar plus 1. Already we prove that the statement is true for two events. The statement is true for two events. So you can write like this, which is less than or equals to P of E plus P of F. What is E? Union I is equals to 1 to R AI. What is F? ER plus 1. We assume that the statement is true for R events. It means probability of union I is equals to 1 to R AI less than or equals to summation I is equals to 1 to R P of AI. So using that inequality here, here, you get summation i is equals to 1 to r p of ai 
plus p of r plus 1 the sum of these two terms can be expressible like this summation i is equals to 1 to r plus 1 p of ai therefore probability of union i is equals to 1 to r plus 1 ai is is less than or equals to summation i is equals to 1 to r plus 1 p of ai now you observe that the statement is true for n is equals to r plus 1 the statement is true for n is equals to r plus 1 hence we prove that the statement is true for n is equals to 2 we prove that the statement is true for n is equals to 2 we assume that the statement is true for n is equals to r we prove that the statement is true for n is equals to r plus 1 now by applying the principle of mathematical induction the given statement is true for all n belongs to capital n and here you observe that that n is greater than or equals to 2 if n is equals to 1 it is not possible to apply the bull's inequality hence we conclude that probability of union i is equals to 1 to n ai is less than or equals to summation over i is equals to 1 to n p of ai this completes the proof of the bull's inequality which is a very very important question for your end semester examination in statistics keep planning wish you all the best